drawing and identifying transformations, we're in a new chapter, chapter four, all about triangle congruence. This is 4.1a, and if you wanna see the geometry playlist, it's linked in the description. We first learned about transformations in eighth grade math, and they're a change in the position, shape, or size of a figure. They're translations, those are slides, reflections, those are flips, rotations, those are turns, and dilations, those are figures that grow or shrink. A dilation with a scale factor of k is greater than zero, and a center, zero for x, zero for y, that would be the origin, wouldn't it? Maps xy to kx, ky. So on a coordinate plane, you can see our origin, and if we have point xy, it'll map to kx, ky. See? It'll move that point xy. In a transformation, the original figure is called the pre-image and the transformed figure is the image. So if we have triangle ABC, it maps to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So when you see the little tick marks after the letters, we say prime and it tells us that's the image, okay? That's the second figure. Apply the transformation M to the polygon with the given vertices, identify and describe the transformation. So we have points P, Q, and R on our coordinate plane here, and P is at one for X, two for Y, Q is at four for X, four for Y, R is at four for X, two for Y, and our transformation M says X, Y is gonna map to X plus two, Y minus five. So this is a translation two units right and five units down. Every X value, we're gonna add two to each of them and subtract five from each Y. So if for P, we had a one for X and a two for Y, if we add two to X, it's gonna become a three for P prime. And the Y will become a negative three because we're subtracting five from the Y value for the point P. For point Q, we had a four, four. We're gonna, subtract, we're gonna add two to the X, so it becomes a six, and we're gonna subtract five from the Y, so it becomes a negative one. For R on the preimage, we had a four for X, so on R prime, it's gonna become a six, we add two. And for the Y value for R, we're gonna subtract five, so we're gonna get a negative three. We're gonna end up moving our triangle from the first quadrant to the fourth quadrant. We're gonna move it over two to the right and down five. And this will be our image. Here's the pre-image that we started with, the original, and here's our image that it became. We slid it down. So it translated, it slid to that spot. We've got transformation M our xy is gonna to map to negative xy. So here's our points, a, b, c, and what's gonna happen is we're gonna do a negative x and then y is gonna stay the same. This creates a reflection across the y-axis. So this image flipped to this, this pre-image flipped to that image here. You can actually tell because this is the one that has the prime tip, tick marks. There's A, there's A prime. So it flipped over like that. And point C was three for X, five for Y, and we need to do a negative X, so it became negative three and five stayed the same. See? Whatever value X is for each point, the point for the reflection will be negative X. And the Y is the same. So if you look at our pre-image points up here, what we're gonna do is just make the X a negative. One became a negative one. Three became a negative three. This three became a negative three, and the Y value stayed the same. For this transformation, M, X, Y is gonna to map to negative Y, X. So here are our points, R, E, C, T, R, E, C, T. These are their ordered pairs. Each X in the pre-image each of these X values in the pre-image becomes a negative Y and each Y becomes X for our ordered pairs. 
So it tells us we need to swap these and then that's going to be a negative. So if r is a 1 for x and a 2 for y, we're going to put a negative y here. It was a 2, so now it's a negative 2. And then we put our x here. So we have a negative 2, 1. And we do it for each of the other points to do e prime, c prime, t prime. So this is a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise with center of rotation 0, 0, the origin. So our center of rotation is right here. OK, so the whole image was here and then turned 90 degrees counterclockwise. OK. For this one, we have transformation m. Our xy is going to map to 2x, 2y. Well, that tells us we have to multiply the x value by 2 and the y value by 2. We have our pre-image points, k, l, n, k, l, n, and it makes this little triangle here. We need to multiply each x value by 2 and each y value by 2 to get the image. k is a negative 1. We multiply that by 2, we get a negative 2. The y value is a 2. We multiply that by 2, we get a 4. For l, we had a 2, we multiply that by 2, and now L prime is a 4 for x. Our y value was a 2, we need to multiply that by 2, so now L prime's y value is a 4. We do it for N prime, we get a 2 and a 6. So this is a dilation with a scale factor of 2. And center, 0, 0, the origin. So this dilation is an enlargement. Because we multiplied each by 2, it grew. So now this little triangle became k prime, l prime, n prime, this larger triangle. So a dilation, I have a picture up here. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. And I've shown this before. This is Emma. A dilation is a resize either larger or smaller. So you can look at it as Emma got smaller, or you can start with the small Emma and say Emma got larger. So it's like your pupils dilate when you're in a dark room or you're in a real bright room, okay? So your pupils will dilate, all right? So you can see the link at the end of the video or in the description to grade eight math, chapter nine and chapter 10. Chapter nine, we learned about transformations and congruence. And in chapter 10, we learned about transformations and similarity. So we're in high school geometry now. We should have learned all this. You may prefer my explanations in those chapters to review what was taught in middle school. So if you don't remember learning about them, or if you never did learn them, now's the time to do it. And my advice is to watch those two chapters. It's only going to help you. It's only going to make you understand and maybe get you a better grade on a test. So our next lesson is transformations in the coordinate plane and congruence. It's going to be 4.1b. We're also going to talk about isometry and rigid transformations. So I hope this was a good explanation, and I will see you next time. Keep your chin up. I'm proud of you. Bye.